All right, folks, here's my quick review of the Bells of Steel Belt Squat Machine 2.0 that I paid for out of my own pocket and I've had for a month now. So I'll give you an honest review of what I think of this machine overall. Quickly, 700 pound weight capacity that you can load onto this beast. All right, so it can take a lot of weight. The depth of it, so from the front here to the back is 51 inches long. With the way these plate pegs are set up with the vertical orientation, it is 52 inches wide. If you put these into the horizontal plane, then you're going out to about 79, 80 inches wide. Really, if you're a home gym user, which I am, and this is set up in, I want to limit the space as much as possible. So this gives it a small footprint, fits in this gym really well. And with it set up this way, you actually get a better range of motion. All right, with them set up going vertical. Overall weight of the machine itself is around 280 pounds. So it's very beefy, 11 gauge steel throughout and it is sturdy. I've had this loaded up with about 340 pounds and no issues whatsoever with it handling that type of weight. And I think you could definitely put a 700 pound weight limit on this and you would have no problem whatsoever using the machine. It does have band pegs that you can put bands on and I'll show that a little later on in the video, how you can set up the uh, band pegs for this with the rubber bands and use standard like an Elite FTS or whatever type of band that has a 40 inch length to it. I'll show you how that can be set up on here. And I actually using them without bands and with bands, I prefer actually using this doing belt squats with the band now. The plate pegs are about 13 and a half inches long. So lots of room here to load up a lot of plates on them. Two J cups, one here and one here and they allow you to adjust, all right, up and down for how you want this to sit for your start position. All the pivot points for your handle here that pivots out, all right, like this. It has four bearings as your pivot points. Really sturdy, works really well. And also back here, four pivot points, your four bearings, which hold all your weight and this is very sturdy and super strong. So again, with 320 pounds, 340 pounds, there's been, this unit has felt totally solid. As a bonus, it comes with the belt squat itself, all right? And overall, uh, it's well designed, it works well. Maybe if you're a wider person with more hip girth, this belt, might not work for you so well. So you might want to look towards Spud is another uh, company that builds uh, bigger belts that you might want to look into. But overall, this belt quality is pretty good. And with the carabiners that it comes with, the clips, clips on, no problem. Works really well standard with what it ships with included in the price. In Canada, this unit here retails currently for around $750 Canadian. So if you're in Canada with tax and shipping, most places in Canada is probably gonna run you about $1,000. Overall, I think this is a good bang for your buck. The two cons that I would say, or let's say three cons I would have with this machine is there is no safety mechanism built into it. You'll see the more expensive models where they'll have something built in down here that you can adjust so that if you actually fail at the bottom of the squat, you can just rest it down. This doesn't have that type of safety mechanism. Now you could adjust these uh, J cups downwards to the most bottom level, right? Uh, depending on how deep you're squatting, that means when you set up and lever the bar up, you take up the weight, you would have to squat down farther but that could maybe be used as um, a, a, a safety, right? So as you're coming up, if you're starting to fail, you can just put this forward and the J cups will catch you. Um, or as an alternate, you just use a piece of block of wood that you can just rest it down onto if you actually fail. The other con with this is the chicken bar, I'll call it, this horizontal bar right here. 
I do wish this was adjustable so you could actually adjust it down or upwards through a different range of motion right there. Um, you'll see at the end of this video, I use a different squat technique. So this bar right here actually gets in the way, but I do use it when I do one arm rows with this. So it's something that I don't want to take off. I'm going to leave it on. Other than that, I think it's, uh, you know, for a home gym and even light commercial use, this definitely fits the bill for the price point, especially. Assembly of this unit was fairly easy. The instructions that come with it honestly aren't that great and you need a magnifying glass to read them. But I did do a quick video on setting this up. So that'll be in the description of the video and I'll try to embed it in the video here also at this time slot. All right, so for the bands, your standard band pegs that come with it, there's about 20 inches of spacing between these. This is an Elite FTS band, mini. They are standard, is about 40, 41 inches long. So if you just had it set up like that, you're not gonna get any tension really. Even once you take it up, you're gonna get mild tension on that. So what I find the best setup is, and you can go either way, is to essentially run it under. And then set it up like that right that gives you good tension right from the get-go so once you have this set up on both sides and you take up the weight you're gonna feel it and I actually prefer to do all my belt squatting with these bands now I just find overall it feels better and smoother on my legs when I do it although it is harder 